everyone. As our channel gets bigger, instead of uh, going to Patreon or anything like that, I have a little bit of a different idea. Um, if you guys would like to support our channel and you live in Australia, click the link below. As I've started selling some World War II replica knives, a World War II replica Bowie knife. This is a combat Bowie knife. I designed this a, a little bit longer than the normal combat Bowie knife that they had back then so that you can kill pigs with it. It's a great pigging knife. Okay, we've got a beautiful leather sheath and this is a carbon steel blade. Have a look at the listing and you'll see exactly how long it is. It's got an encapsulated tang. Uh, there's only a small number of these, so jump in if you want to grab one. I know we only have a small channel, but this will be really helpful if you, if you like knives and you want to help us out, grab one of these. The other one I have is a World War II combat trench knife. Also designed longer, so it's great for pig hunting. Really, really nice. This is a different full tang design. Um, this is a replica of a World War II knife as well. Uh, if you would like to support us, go ahead and grab one of these if you're in Australia. These are really awesome, capable knives uh, for hunting, for camping, for anything you would like to use it for. We've got the Australian Combat Bowie and the Australian Combat Trench Knife. Help us out. Thanks so much. Hey everyone, I'm Ben. Uh, this is Counterfeit Christianity. I thought I would uh, put this video together. I've been thinking about this concept. Uh, I just put out a video um, on the weekend and it says, hell is only for Christians. Uh, it was really good. I really appreciate people watching it. And I really appreciate the uh, genuine comments and questions. It's really fun to have a uh, good conversation. And I also appreciate the Christians who are angered by it. Like it's good. Hopefully it helps people think. And just for everyone's understanding, I, I call it my understanding because it's, what I, it's the way I understand things at the moment. I think it's really funny that people think that I'm saying that this is uh, absolute truth because <laughs> if anyone believes anything is absolute truth, uh, then except for me, the only thing I know is absolutely true is that God's my daddy and he wants to be with me. <laughs> Everything else is silly. There's no such thing as absolute truth. There's no way of understanding the truth of the world um, except for the things that our daddy reveals to us more and more as we get to know him more and more. Yeah, I'm not saying that. And uh, I think it's funny that people think that I am. <laughs> it just proves that they're blind. The thing that I want to talk about today is I really do find it interesting that people believe that the, the living God, the true living God, of this world, our daddy wants them to become a Christian. <laughs> I find it really, really funny. I, I used to think that, and um, and it's funny that people say, oh, if only I read the Bible, then I'd understand it. But yeah, I've read the Bible and I was a Christian and I have repented from my Christian ways. <laughs> I forgot to mention that in the last video. Um, I, I have repented from that. God doesn't require anything of us and he wants to be with us. That's all. <laughs> and he wants us to be uh, free of the Christian hell or religious hell, however you want to put it, of thinking that we need to do things uh, and say things and be things and go out of our way and try and figure out what he wants us to do. No, he doesn't want that. He wants us to be with him so that he can lead us in every single part of our lives. That's what it means to be with God. Um, and in relationship. I'm going to do another video again after after this about being in relationship with somebody and what does that actually mean? <laughs> but yeah, I think it's funny that especially Christians, obviously, right? They think that God wants you to become a Christian. Like, I like the Bible. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, it's good because it's stories about people from the past and how they lived with God, <laughs> uh, my daddy. And I love that because it helps me understand what it's like to be with God. And therefore, like Jesus said, I don't say or do anything unless my daddy tells me to. And that's the journey that, that I am on of being in relationship with, with the living God. That's what it's all about. Look at everybody in the Bible. Every story in the Bible is about them and their journey of being in relationship with the living God. It's not God's word. Okay. I know it really offends Christians, but it's not. Um, God himself, his voice in your life is his word. We are all humans and we all are all made differently. We are all very different from each other. So the things that God has to say to us personally is very different from somebody else. So when you're learning from, let's say a pastor and he tells you, this is the word of God and this is what you must do, then that can't be true because every one of us is different. And they all have ulterior motives for everything. And we understand that now. But I just, I just wanted to mention that I think it's really funny that people think that God wants them to become Christians. Because no, he doesn't care about Christianity. He doesn't give a shit. It doesn't mean anything. He didn't plan on people worshipping a book. He did not plan that people would build a system around Jesus. 
because Jesus came to show us what it was like to be in relationship with God. So let's just follow that. I really, I do understand that it's really difficult to wrap your head around because uh, the same, I was on the same journey. I was absolutely indoctrinated as a lot of the people that, that come on into the comment section and talk shit are as well. I understand that. It's like when people get angry, it doesn't make me offended. I'm, I absolutely understand it because I have uh, been through that as well, but I have repented from it. That means I'm with God now. That's all that means, <laughs> but it's really good. Instead of being angered by something, uh, asking a question is really, really cool. Uh, and, and, that, and I'm really excited that some people are doing that. And not that I know the truth. This is a journey that we're all on together. Like now, I don't, I would never call myself a Christian, obviously. I describe myself as a man with God who is on the way. I'm on the way with him. I'm on the way to getting to know him more. I'm on the way in life with other people who are also on the way. I'm on the way with more relationships with people. I'm on the way to understanding who my daddy is more and more every single day. I have said before, I do struggle articulating some of the things that I would like to share in the way that I like to share it because that's who I am and that's also okay. Most Christians believe that you have to be a certain thing. You have to look a certain way. You have to speak a certain way. A lot of people in the comments get really offended when I say fuck or when I say shit. <laughs> it's really funny because I know that God doesn't care. He is a God that is all grace, all loving and all good. And he is good. He is happy with me and he knows who I am and he knows who you are. There's no sin that's going to separate you from him. That's another Christian lie, uh, a lie that you have to focus on all the sins that you've committed and, and repent from that. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm laughing because I feel so free. Uh, because I'm, I'm really laughing at myself because in the past I felt all this pressure and shame. Um, I don't know about other people, but that's, I'm guessing that that's part of this journey of, of when you condemn somebody else for something that they think it's because of the shame and the pressure that is on you. It's okay. I understand it because I've been it and I've lived it. So yeah, God doesn't want you to be Christian. He doesn't give a shit about that. He wants you to be with him. And I think it's really cool because he doesn't even care if you know his name. He doesn't care at all. I, I, I heard a story once before. Um, my mum actually told me she met somebody who was from some uh, little country somewhere in South America. And um, they told her that they didn't know who God or Jesus was, but they were already with him. And then they found the Bible. Somebody gave them the Bible and they read it and they're like, oh, this is him. We already knew him. They know him by a different name. They knew him as whatever they knew him as. And God is cool with that as well. <laughs> so yeah, God doesn't want you to become a Christian. He wants you to be with him. Um, and I, I didn't understand that for a really long time. So yeah, this is my understanding right now. And I know as I get to be with my dad more and more, I will come to a different and deeper understanding of who he is. There's always little pieces that uh, hold onto our, onto our mind and to our heart that hold us back from relationship with him. And I think a really big one of those for most Christians is that they think that the Bible is the only way that God speaks to them because that is what they have been taught. And then once you think you know something, it's really hard to break that knowledge out of your mind and go, oh, maybe that's not right. What if it's not right? What if the thing that I thought that I knew all these years is wrong? That's what I want to live like. <laughs> I want to be like that. Maybe it's because I, ha I was already separated from the system for a lot of my life and I was already looked down upon as a fuck up. I already saw myself in that, in that light. So it is probably a little bit easier for me. But if you have enjoyed the the good parts of the system it's really hard to separate from that i absolutely understand it for me there was no good parts of the system that i grew up in the religious system uh shit on me um the school system shit on me and so it was really easy for me to be like fuck this system i'm good and then uh god found me that way and this is just the journey that i'm on and it's really fun so i do appreciate it i appreciate the conversation and i appreciate the criticisms as well um just letting everybody know that it doesn't offend me. I'm okay. I understand. All I want to say to you is like, there's nothing that's holding on to you. You can live freely with him as well. Just ask him and tell him, say, I want other people like that. I want to be free. I want to be with other people who are also this way. And he'll bring that to you. Uh, that, that's who he is. He does everything, all the hard work. He does all the heavy lifting. And like it says in the Bible, um, it's not God's word, by the way, but it is good because everything with God is good. Um, if you're reading it out of context without God in a religious way, then it's going to be the worst thing in your life. But with God, it can be good. 
It is good if you read it with God, as is everything in life. Um, every lesson that we learn, everything that we do, every conversation, every relationship we have is good when we're with him. We always learn something and he shows us something from that. Uh, so yeah, that's what I wanted to say. God doesn't want you to be Christian. He wants you to be with him. <laughs> it's pretty fucking simple, but it's hard to do because you've got to break the holes that are on your mind. Um, anyway, thanks so much. I appreciate you. If you want to support me, buy a knife. Yeah, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it.